Without objection, the gentleman is recognized for one minute. Mr. Speaker, I rise today because the American people know that their right to abortion care is under attack. As I speak right now across the street, the Supreme Court of the United States is getting ready to rule on whether or not to keep a ban and restrictions on an abortion pill that has been around for decades and has safely helped millions when they needed it the most. In my home state of Florida, our wannabe president of a governor signed a six-week abortion ban into law that effectively means that people who have been raped, who are the victims of incest, and who are experiencing life-threatening pregnancies are going to be denied the care that they need and will be forced, forced to give birth. It's barbaric and disgusting. That isn't liberty. That isn't freedom. Being able to make a decision about your future and your body, that's freedom. Having control over your own reproductive care, that's freedom. Having a choice, that's freedom. And that's what we need to fight for freedom and liberty for all of our people, not ripping away one of their most sacred human rights. I yield back. For what purpose does the gentleman